Hello, Internet. Welcome to my live reaction for Fairy Tale Chapter 508. Um, also, Happy Halloween to anyone who celebrates that. In case you could not tell, I am currently in my uh, Okabe Rinjiro costume from Steins Gate. So that's what I'm doing for Halloween. Anyway, uh, when we last left off, uh, let's see. Urza had brought Natsu and Grey back to their senses, which was good because they were being kind of idiots. Um, let's see. Jalal and Jalal and the gang were fighting August, and then we got um, Irene being all, I am you and you are me. So uh, let's find out what she means by that in this week's chapter, 508, and a pervy cover page. Well, well, uh, at least, at least he's keeping it to the, um, to the cover page, and hopefully it won't go to the story. So keep it seeing all the stuff for, like, Fairy Tale S. What, what is it? Like, I've never actually heard of it outside of the cover pages uh, and stuff like that, so what even is all this? You got some fan art, more fan art. Here we go. The infallible Makarov, the final light of his life, illuminates the battlefield. And then we got Minerva and Rogue panting. Do they beat Wall? Like, off screen? What? It seems we've done it. All right, because they were, they were uh, ghosts, so like, no big deal. They're vanishing. They were dead from the very start. It's unclear whether it was we who defeated them or their conjurer who was defeated first. But either way, it's our victory. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Um, because Natsu defeated Nineheart. Um, in like five hundred. So yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't make sense. At any rate, what was that blinding light just now? Fairy law. Makarov's mightiest spell. It is a magic which destroys only those whom the caster perceives as enemies. It's quite fortunate that we made amends with the fairy tale, wouldn't you say? Does that mean all the enemies have been vanquished? No, as one would expect, eliminating them all with a single spell is wishful thinking. Even so, it's safe to say that it considerably whittled down their forces. Be that as it may, our side's exhaustion is a big, si big cause for concern. And then we remove somewhere else. Or, wait, we, we, we are going to get back to uh, Urza and the gang against Eileen, right? Because, like, that's one hell of a cliffhanger, and they better, like, show it. Seriously. All the enemies in front of us were suddenly defeated in one fell swoop? Fro thinks so, too. I haven't a clue whose magic that was, but it certainly bailed us out, didn't it, sister? How many times have I repeat myself? I'm not your sister, got it? Yeah, you are. Sh shut up, Serrano. I must say, that was quite the gaudy little spell. Who the? Thanks. Oh my god, they're about to fight Larkad! Thanks to that, our force has been considerably dwindled. Quite troublesome, indeed. And so it falls upon me to return the favor, if only li only a bit. I simply wouldn't be able to face my father otherwise. Wait, is he is he Seraph's son? What? You now we got Larkad, or I think that's how, how you pronounce his name. I've seen so many translations of it, like Ra either Rakid or Larkad or something weird like that. He's so divine. Pharrell thinks so, too. Another one of the twelve. I caught a glance of him up north. Oh? If he thinks he can take on the two of us at the same time, he has another thing coming. I'm here too, you know, in case you forgot. And Fro, too. I said I'd be returning the favor, did I not? That is to say, I shall take on all those who dare to oppose us. What's he doing? What is he doing? What is that like? Is he, is he fairy? Is he doing, like, fairy law? Or spriggan law or something? I don't know. So bright. Light? Let their pure white souls ascend to the free heavens. Uh, oh, for a second that would be like a, like a, another, like, annoying, uh, stripping villain. But no, he's, I think that's Angel's soul. Sister! Sister, please hold on! What just happened? My body is... Madame, do not touch me! It's no use. What? Just what is happening? Uh, are, are, there, are, all, are all their souls going to get sucked out? Are they dying? Is everyone dying? This is not good. Papa! Mama! Dad, come on, hang in there. Oh, uh, what is this? It feels so amazing. Dad, what's the matter with you? Wait, is it not affecting... Uh, is it going to be Romeo against all of Alvarez? Because <laughs> that would be really cool, honestly. He's even getting Loxus. What is the meaning of this? Only the adults are falling one after another. No, that's not it. What exactly is this magic? Is even getting Mavis? But she's her body is still a child though. 
My body feels so hot. This can't be. I cannot resist it. Even Gildart is falling. Gildart! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Snap out of it! He just looked like utterly peaceful. It's not the kind of expression I want to see from your ne from when we're neck deep in a war. You're grossing me out. It feels so good. And even even Crime Sorcerer is beaten. Rakid. Using such magic to makes for a dull battle. Okay, good. We're getting back to here. I was really like upset thinking that we would like not get to um uh the, back to Eileen this week. Even though the Rakid stuff is really cool. Like I am you now back to Eileen from last week. I am you, and you are me. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is... must be Rakid. We is even affecting Eileen. Now's your chance. Take not assuming greatest safety. We're on it. I. <clears throat> what are you planning on doing? I must confirm the true meaning of this woman's words. <sighs> and Eileen has some kind of last word, Urza. But Wendy... I remember people were talking about how Wendy promised to protect Urza like a year or so ago. Is that actually going to happen? Oh my god, yes. Yes. I'll lend you a hand. Wendy? Enchantment magic. To think. Rakid's magic wouldn't be effective on either one of you. You accursed brats. Oh, because they're still technically children. But Eileen, but Eileen's an adult. Rakid, cease this at once. Our allies are suffering harm from your magic as well. Oh my. Please pardon my impetuous actions. What was that magic th this now? Why was Sister the only one affected? Sister, please get a hold of yourself. My magic is pleasure. It is impossible for those who have already tasted the divine, the forbidden fruit of pleasure to escape from my magic. I wonder, are you aware of exactly what happens to humans who are granted pleasure over and over and over again? Open, gate of the twin fish. It's simple, really. They die. What? Knowledge is to ignorance as black is to white. May you can come to know both pleasure and agony. Now he's driven out her soul. What's happening? This feels bad. Wait, on second thought, it feels really good. Fro too. Lord Lecter, Lord Froche, come to your senses. And... Oh, you can just, like, broke away. White, light, granting pleasure. She about to... Kagura! It's quite hard to fathom that you are a comrade of that black wizard. Lady Kagura... Kagura, the pure mermaid, a flash of her blade, rends the light of evil. I am much more than his comrade. Zareth is my father. What? I totally already called that earlier in the chapter, but that's besides the point. To be continued, chapter 509, Kagura vs. Rakid. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed that we did not get anything about, um, about, um, who Eileen is. Because that, that cliffhanger is still hanging on us even after another chapter. Uh, that made, like, zero progress, but Rakid is, like, the Rakid setup was really good, and I am really fucking hyped for Kagura versus Rakid, which is nothing I ever thought I would say, uh, like, 20 minutes ago, honestly. Like, Kagura, who cares about Kagura? <laughs> like, I completely forgot about Rakid until this video. So, uh, <laughs> um, this was honestly an amazing chapter, but, uh, let's see. Rakid, Rakid, Rakid. Uh, I, I don't think that I don't think that Rakid is like a biological son to Zareph. Maybe like an experiment that um, Zareph treated as his son. Maybe could it be possible he's from the books of Zareph? He's a demon. I don't know. I, I feel like that could be a thing that happens. And then, like Zareph raised him as his own son for whatever reason. Uh, which would explain why he's so, like, loyal to Zareph. Because, like, as soon as Zareph says, Yo, Rakid, stop this shit. He's like, Alright, Dad, I'm stopping this shit. Uh, or something like that. <laughs> but honestly, this was a really, really good chapter of Fairy Tale. So, um, that's what I'll have to say about it. So, as always, guys, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Have a happy Halloween.